This is, this is getting out of hand. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry for the delay in getting a new video out. I know it's been a couple weeks, but I had to get a haircut and the world's falling apart. I don't know if you noticed, but there's something, some sort of epidemic out there or something. I don't really know. I'm stuck at home. Luckily this garage is at my home. So now I will more than make up for having videos not brought out. So I figured we'd start with getting this V8 out of the final vehicle. Um, transmission, as you can tell, is already out. No big deal there. But we got to get this V8 out. So I figure we'll take this part out first just because, you know, I don't need to worry about anything that's coming out of this car at this, at this moment, I suppose. Um, figure taking the stuff out of the covid infected one outside would be better that way it can be a little more fresh in my mind so when i do want to throw it back in here not when i want to because i'm going to shortly but when i throw it back in here it'll be more you know fresh in the mind as far as uh what it looked like yeah I'm not gonna lie i'm a little intimidated but i think we can do it let's start so as you guys heard in my first video this thing is a salvage title I just wanted to show you what made it salvage. So, like I said, this control arm been replaced. Got it roadworthy just by doing that. The hub has a few scratches in it right about here. Sorry, it's dark. Um, but what totaled it out is these two spots. Two, two, right there. See this right here where the lower control arm mounts up? get the little focus in there for you this right here so this is part of the front like unibody kind of stamp up here there's multiple pieces welded together make the front end right here this is cracked and to replace it you would have to probably replace a much larger piece to fix it properly properly um and the second damage is at the back of the wheel well here this little corner just kind of smushed right here just literally i mean like it's my finger, just like twice the width of my index finger. So I figure weld this up a little bit just to kind of reinforce it just a hair. And then if possible, get this welded up. This piece right here is damaged as well, but that will be just replaced completely. It's a bolt on piece. It bolts on right here and here and over here's and up there's and all that fun stuff. So I actually have that brand new. Um, but yeah, I mean, just do a little bit of welding right here, and this thing is set. I mean, really worth it to salvage, right? It's kind of ridiculous, man. Just goes to show you how much body shops charge to do their work and all that funny stuff. I mean, the, the, no, neither of these two areas compromise the drivability of this vehicle in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I promise you it doesn't. That's It's ridiculous. But, hey... You know what? I'm, I'm cool with it because now I have this sweet vehicle on my lift and we're going to make some awesome videos from it. So keep watching and uh, we'll keep going. So check it out. Back here, got some oil pan, I guess, kind of. It's like the smallest, thinnest oil pan in the world. We got the transmissions obviously out. Um, now we're just gonna have to remove like wiring harnesses, uh, exhaust manifold will be able to stay on no problem because obviously it just ends right there. So there's no point in worrying about that, but just gotta get everything unplugged and then unbolt right here for the uh, motor mounts on both sides. This motor actually like pivots right now. If you see right there, check it out. She just moves, Captain. Moves up and down. Um, so that won't be too difficult to get out once I get everything unplugged. But one thing I have not done yet is the fluids. So we're going to do that right now. Let's get the coolant out. 
I mean, it needs cooling out and it needs, there is some, I wanna say this is like power steering or something like that. I believe it goes up to the power steering reservoir. And then, yeah, coolant, power steering fluid. Uh, what else would come out of here? The oil is pretty much out because um, it's a dry sump motor. So there was a big canister when we took the transmission out that had majority of the oil in it. So that's out already. Yeah, let's get the coolant out. That's gonna be the biggest thing. Let's try not to eat any. That's, that's one of my biggest goals whenever I take coolant out of a car is try not to eat it because it don't taste good. I'm sure my dog would love it, but we don't want him to. We don't want him to. Handy dandy bucket. And I think this guy would be a good spot. There's like, seriously, probably about five or so, at least that I can see coolant lines that like all run from the reservoir down to, I'm guessing it's like thermostat housing. I'm sure any of them would kind of be okay. There's a couple big ones that obviously go to the front. A little bit of leakage, a little seepage on the ends over here. Um, we're not gonna worry about emptying the front radiators in the moment. Um, we'll see how that goes. Cause the whole system I'm sure takes like seven, eight gallons of coolant and it's super pain to pull it all out and then suck the system down and like gravity feed coolant back in there. I mean, we'll do it if we need to at the end, but that can be done at any time. Right now, we're just trying to get this motor out and wiring harnesses and all that fun stuff so we can proceed. Um, yeah, hold on, let me get some, some pliers real quick. Or whatever it is. You might notice that I don't call some tools what they're properly called. I mean, what, whatever these are, dude. I'm gonna call them thingamajiggers. I love thingamajiggers. And you know what, that's actually not what I wanted to do. We're going to uh, put that back down. I wanted these torques because there is a torque right here. Oh, there we go. Love that. Did you hear that crackle when it like opened up? Yes. So we're gonna hold this up and kind of hope and pray that as much as I love getting hit with coolant. Coolant's the worst. Okay, don't come out then. Fine. So, see, this is what I mean when we're going on the journey together. We do a lot of unbolt this. Oh, we should have unbolted that, put it back. And then uh, unbolt something else. It's a whole lot of fun, really. You can do this like uh, Martha Stewart style. And the bolt comes out just like this. We love when bolts come out like this. Yeah, that just makes you feel so nice. The coolant secure. <laughs> We're going back to the thingamajiggers. These are what's gonna help us right now. We're gonna get a little clippy, little clippy clip off of this guy. Come on! There you go. Perf. Perf. Ready for it. Oh, that's what I meant. See? Exactly what I meant. Woo! That's not coming out fast at all. My goodness. Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Look at that 
pink, that rosé color coolant. Warning, do not drink this stuff. Do not. Dude, that is half a gallon, half a five gallon bucket is what I meant. About half a gallon. It's way more than half a gallon of fluid. Whew, look at that. Two and a half gallons out just like that. I use my little, uh, little soaker pad deal. I love those. Hold on, I'm gonna grab one more. These things are great. Like little joggy pad things. Forget, you know, what is it? Again, kitty litter or whatever everybody uses. Shoot, this stuff's way better. Dude, for real, what are you like coming out harder for? What is going on? This car is like a temperament. Letting the stuff out. You done? You done all right? Hmm? Any more? Sweet juice? Two, one eternity later. This is, this is getting out of hand. I'm just kidding, but check this out. Got the coolant out. Now just drain the last little bit of oil out of the pan. There's a couple coolant lines going over to a cooler over here that <clears throat> cools the transmission fluid. So it's fun. Look at this. Look at this disgustingness on the ground. I always try to keep it way cleaner, but this is what I hate about fluids. It's like a disaster. Good thing I'm not going to be taking any fluids out of the COVID-19 R8 outside. This one, that one is just gonna, just gonna come out. Coolant's already gone because I don't know if you noticed the front end was destroyed. Um, so it should be easier, but I am done for today. This is just gonna get done in the morning. Tomorrow morning, come back, wire harness and motor out. Should be pretty straightforward. And then grab the rest of the wiring harness out and then pretty much gonna move over to the R, other R8. But got a couple things to maybe do in between. So subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll be back soon. I promise I'm stuck at home. I have no choice.